So in this video, I'll continue on the process of converting Power BI reports or, or SSRS to uh, use a certificate. In the previous um, videos, we've requested the certificate. And in this one, we're going to um, take the video, take the certificate and apply it to the uh, Power BI report server. Let's get started. So again, we're going to start on our um, reporting point. This one's a Power BI uh, report server. And we're going to launch off the report server configuration tool and connect off to the server. And so the first thing we're going to do to um, make this a user certificate is click on the web server. And then we're going to uh, pick the uh, appropriate server, uh, the appropriate certificate. In this case, it's uh, this particular one. And really, there's nothing more to it than just clicking uh, apply. Just... So you see this error that comes up here. This doesn't seem to cause any, uh, technically it's a warning, it doesn't seem to cause any problems across the, the board. And it pops up uh, again. So we go okay to that. So now we've got our um, reporting service connection. Now we'll go off and do the report um, URL too. So we go off to the web portal URL. We click on advanced. We go add. We again, we pick the exact same certificate. We go OK. And we're going to go uh, OK to this. And again, it's going to go off and apply. And really, that's all there is to it. Um, I, I know it seems a lot more complicated than uh, it is. So the one thing that I am going to do here is um, I'm actually going to launch this thing. One thing I do want to, to point out is because I was trying to make my environment more difficult than, than it needs to be, I'm not using the default uh, URL um, for my report my reporting point. So with that, you can see um, that I'm now using HTTPS, uh, HTTPS. So it's a secure connection on here for the reporting point. And just for uh, making sure that everything is perfect, again, we're going to do the um, uh, web service URL and just test that. Again, notice I'm not using the default uh, name. This clearly should not be taking that long, but it, it, there you go. So you can see that the reporting point um, is up. Something slowed down my environment for, for a second there. So with that, what I've proven is I've attached the certificate to the environment. I have tested both of the URLs. Uh, um, and confirm that they all work. 
within the next video, uh, what I'll show you is how to actually remove the HTTP connection ports off of uh, your Power BI server. This is what facilitated the whole reviewing of the um, this blog set. Uh, when I originally did up this thing, I showed you how to create the uh, secure, but at the same point in time, I didn't actually remove the uh, HTTP connection off it. So it was kind of, it didn't fulfill the needs that a lot of people, and this is where a lot of the questions came in. So this is where this blog set has come, uh, was to review this uh, and update it and um, give you those answers. So in the next uh, video, that's what will happen. I'd like to thank you for uh, taking the time to watch this video and to remind you to subscribe to the um, uh, YouTube channel and to follow the uh, Ask Garth blog. This way you'll be kept up to date on all the latest blogs as they go live. Until next time.